actual unedited raw footage cut into clips for you guys to experience what it was like to play or see the game being played. I'm happy because this was totally unexpected. We as content creators were simply given the video out of the blue by Steel City Interactive and it finally puts context and a visual illustration to the things that I praised the game for, but also to the things that I criticized the game for in my first ever hands-on video. This is going to be a slightly different type of video breakdown. It will deviate from the norm because when I made my video right after playing Esports Boxing Club for the first time, I hit on a few points. One being the punches lacking pop. Still, and I didn't dive further because I wanted to ensure that I was not being too judgmental. But I knew back then, after a week or so of contemplating what needed to be fixed over and over in my head, it clicked. I knew what could not be sacrificed and what they can do to make sure the punches look as good as possible without eliminating game mechanics that simulate the sport. After the reception of this new gameplay footage and the feedback, I can now give my personal opinionated fix for how to make the punches look better. So I'm so happy the video released because now you guys can see it and judge it for yourself. Please keep in mind that at the time I knew the punches needed more pop to it and I addressed this with the devs during our Zoom call, but I didn't have a fix the way I do now in this video. So I hope the devs can look at this and see if these things can be addressed. The game looks good and plays good, but the punches still need work. So let's dive into it. First, before we get into the nitty gritty of punches, I want to talk about another point of criticism. And this can lend into the overall feel of the game or, or the gameplay. This criticism that I made in my hands on video regarding the weave. In this quick raw gameplay overview, we seldom see it. And we don't really see it used in 360 where the player is weaving around. We do, however, see it in instances where the player leans back. Here you can see why I prefer the slipping mechanic and animations over the weaving. Even with this little bit of weaving, we can see that something is off and that the range of motion is not very satisfying. Compare it to the heavily used slip mechanic in this gameplay feature and you can easily see why I chose this over weaving. Please note that weaving initially was easier to pull off because the slip required clicking the left stick in while pressing the direction and it didn't always register. The weave has a modified button that you can hold down. This simple difference made it so that most of us never used the slip at all. However, I didn't like the weave so much that on day one, I experimented like crazy to make the slip more consistent so that I can use it on command. I found out that if you click in and hold the left stick in the entire time, it works as a modifier button, albeit a bit uncomfortable, but with the stick pressed in, you could slip in any direction and it worked 100% of the time. From that point forward, it was easily my go-to for head movement when I wasn't guarding. That's because the weave works much better in the guard to provide different blocking angles to protect open spots or pockets of vulnerability due to the physics system. So it isn't a throw the baby out with the bathwater kind of scenario, but the non-blocking weaving mechanic isn't even close to how fluid and rangy it is in Fight Night Champion. But that fix is easier to point out. Let's talk about the punches and what can be done.
As I said, the punches look off to me, but at the time, I didn't have a fix ready to add to the conversation. It took weeks of thought and contemplation to come to this point. Here are the issues that caused the punches to lack pop. Also, keep in mind that some of these things cannot and should not be changed because of a video game representation of the sport. Many of the criticisms lie in the aesthetics that we have come to expect from combat sports video games, usually headed by electronic arts. Some of the things are so innovative to the genre that it can make it look off. But let's discuss. First, the punches are not, I repeat, not lacking punch flow. This is a simple misunderstanding or lack of articulation to what you are seeing on the screen. The only point of forced reset in this game is when slipping, weaving, or throwing a modified power punch. I can prove it right here. You can clearly see that the other punch begins its animation during the punch animation that preceded it. What is happening on screen that throws us off are four core elements, and here they are. Number one, the punch speed. The punches lack speed, and I don't know if this is a design choice by the developers to allow reactionary defense, but I don't necessarily agree with this decision. Instead, I prefer the faster speed, where there can be seldom moments of reactions, but mainly you are working off of reads, timing, and your opponent's tendencies. This is why even in real boxing, the first round or so tends to be tentative for both fighters. They aren't trying to engage just yet because they are trying to feel out their opponent, speed, rhythm, tendencies, etc. I believe that ESBC should have more faith in the user and allow the speed to be just as fast as it is in real life. Number two, the punch sounds. The punch sounds are inconsistent and not in a particularly good way. Now you see, the sound does a lot to drive the realism of the action on screen. And in this game, the sound is realistic some of the time and bizarre at other times. For example, this sound is reminiscent of actual gloves hitting an opponent, but these sounds here sound like sticks clacking, and this one sounds like crumbled up paper hitting a wall or something. If they can get a good consistency with all the good sounds, that will go a long way to making the punches feel much better. Number three. Now, for number three, this is one that I do not want them to compromise on, to be honest. Because if they do change this, it will actually pull away from an important simulation aspect of the game. And that's trading punches. You see, when you allow a game to have punch trading, it makes the individual punches look as if they lack power. Because it doesn't stop your opponent from attacking. That is why a lot of the combat games from Street Fighter all the way to Fight Night Champion and even the UFC games don't allow that true feeling of trading punches. They have a simulated punch trading system where they throw right after your punch lands but not during the punch landing. The cool thing about taking that aspect away in the game is that it makes each individual punch look much more powerful. Even in the gameplay we see here with ESBC, the most powerful shots are the ones that cause disruption in the other fighter. But that is not true to life. Fighters can always exchange and trade blows. That is why I hope that this remains the same even though it lends to the feeling of less impact. Because in essence, it replicates actual combat sports. And now number four. I have to be honest, it's another aspect to the game that I hope doesn't change, and that's animation linking. You see, you may not notice this, but in combat sports games like Fight Night Champion, for example, after the first one-sixth of the punch animation or the first 16 frames of the punch, the opponent is locked into an inevitable animation that will flow and link perfectly with the punch in both reaction and anticipation as well as impact, creating a false sense of realism 
hidden under scripted animation. Even though that would create a better visual experience, I can promise you the disconnected nature of Esports Boxing Club is the most unique and realistic aspect of the game. It allows for infinite offensive and defensive possibilities, and that is why I do not want them to change that aspect, no matter how quote-unquote real it will make it look. If they were to change the punch speed, the punch sound consistency, the ability to trade blows, and input linking animations, visually, the game would look perfect. Mechanically, however, we would feel stuck in animation loops and would lose the sense of control with our fighter. That's why I ask that they change the speed to a realistic speed and trust the user and make the punch sounds realistic all the way through the fight, but not compromise on trading blows and forcing us into animation loops. That is all that I want to touch on in this video. Let me know your thoughts down below about this hot topic right now involving the combat in ESBC. I would love to hear what your thoughts are on these four core elements. Should it all be sacrificed for the visual appeal or should only some sacrifices be made in the interest of the actual gameplay mechanics? Let me know in the comment section below. Until the next one, peace out guys.